My name is Blondie. Jane Blondie. Just a doll. I'm not scared of you. Ugh. A trap like that can't catch me. I'm a top tier spy cat. Hello, Catex. Agent Blondie, did you bring me the alien device? Mission accomplished. Here it is. Well done. From this moment on, it will not fall into the wrong holes. Because it already has. <laughs> meow, meow. Meow. <laughs> Cat X is the real bad guy. Oh, they fell asleep during the best part. Secret message to all spy cats. <gasps> I... I am a spy cat. Meet me at the abandoned building. I need a laser pointer. Huh? 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 The call said to come here, but this place is empty. Huh? There is someone! Yes, my name is Blondie. Jane Blondie. Don't make me do this the hard way. You'll never catch me! Uh? <laughs> you got me, but I won't tell you anything! If only I had a laser pointer. Oh, yeah! The laser pointer! Here it is! Ah! Oh. <gasps> uh. <sighs> Come on, Kitty. Catch the red dot. Thank you. Uh, I can get him to talk with this. But what does he know that's so important? He's just one of the cats in black. I... <gasps> Leave Agent K alone! <laughs> Milady? Hi, Z. Hi, Em. And who are you? My name is Blondie. Jane Blondie. <laughs> Cats in black, you better confess. I know you have super secret information. <laughs> yeah, all right. We know that there is a new type of lollipop for sale in town. Yeah, and it's cat treat flavored. Let's see if they're telling the truth. First turned pink. That means you lied. Not bad, Spy Cat. What's your code name? Ha! Agent Milady. Mm. Thanks to Agent Milady, you have to tell the truth. Or do you uh, want me to use the red uh, dot again? Uh, no, 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 not the red dot. <laughs> we were looking for an alien device that fell to Earth. It crashed, but remained operational. If it ends up in the wrong paws, it could be used to conquer the human world. An alien device. All right. Agent Milady and I will take care of this. Me? Of course. You did quite good. Do you want to be my assistant, Agent <laughs> Milady? It would be a dream come true. What is the mission? Strange things are happening in this town, Agent Milady, and I think that alien device has something to do with it. 
You think someone's using it for evil? There's only one way to find out. Huh? <gasps> I'm on a secret mission with Blondie! What a thrill! are behaving like cats. Thank you, Agent Milady. Things are not just weird, they're also very dangerous. Hey! I've seen that human before. He was hypnotized by Cat X with an alien device. Agent Milady, do you think Cat X is behind this? There's only one way to find out. Let's follow the human. I have a feeling he'll lead us to the answer we need. Huh? Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> He walked into the garden of this villa. I know this place. Here lives... Look! <laughs> you were right, Agent Milady. Katex is behind all this. <laughs> we got you, Katex. Surrender immediately and show yourself. <laughs> Who dares disturb me? Blondie, I know him. It's Boss, the biggest prankster cat in town. But he can't be the supervillain we're looking for. Cat X, you hypnotize humans with that alien device. Now give it to us. I found this and it's mine. Why should I give it to you? Boss, please understand. It's too dangerous. Give it to us. Don't even think about it. Since I found this, humans have been purring at me, cuddling me, and bringing me milk. Get rid of these two kitties. Agent Milady, ready for a team up? I was born ready, Agent Blondie. What happened? What, what are we doing here? Oh, no! Give it back to me now, Spy Cat! I'm more than just a Spy Cat. My name is Blondie. Jane Blondie. <laughs> okay, okay. Jane Blondie. Give me that thing back. <laughs> What's happening? Hello, Aster Cat. You know this alien cat? She's one of my furry fellows. We can trust her. Thank you for activating the tracker. I've been looking for it for days. If this alien device is yours, I'll be happy to return it to you. <clears throat> I hope my watch didn't cause you too much trouble. It's a watch? A multifunction watch. The problem is that on certain planets, it can have unpredictable effects. Keep talking, ladies. In the meantime, I'm taking the ship. Huh. Look, the watch also allows me to remotely control my spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> And it has many other functions, such as a hypnotic sleep effect. <sighs> Whoa. Uh, uh. Agent Milady, you okay? I feel so sleepy. 
my furry fellows? Well, you fell asleep while watching the movie, m'lady. No way, Lampo. I remember the whole thing. In fact, I was on a mission with Jane Blondie. Huh? huh. Maybe it was all a dream, m'lady. <clears throat> Come on, Buffy Cats. Let's go play outside. A dream? How could I have just dreamed everything? M'lady, will you come and play? <laughs> Hi, Gabby. Are you here to write an article about our new song? I'm here on more important business. There's a ghost cat in town. Oh. oh. Huh? What? Ghost cats don't exist. They do exist. <gasps> they definitely do, Lampo. And they're really scary. This is a catastrophe. Oh. I'm covering this story for the Daily Cat. Here's a picture. Oh. I can't look. Huh? Meatball, you can open your eyes. There's nothing in the picture. Of course not, Lampo. Ghosts are invisible. <laughs> Visible g -g -g ghosts Gabby, if we can't see the ghost cat, what makes you think he really exists? The neighborhood cats saw things huh? moving around by themselves and even disappearing. This is a mysterious mystery. <laughs> Detective Pilu is on the case. Pilu, I'm pretty sure this has nothing to do with ghosts. Then we won't find anything scary. Uh, can I open my eyes now? <laughs> <laughs> the ghost cat got me! <laughs> Don't worry, Gabby. The Buffy cats will get to the bottom of this story. This is a Buffy mission. Cosmo, what are you looking for? My space boots. They ran off by themselves. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, looks like the work of Gabby's ghost cat. Meatball, did you say ghost cat? No, 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 I didn't say anything. Where did he take my boots? Lampo, use your whiskers to find that boot-wearing ghost cat. My whiskers can't find a ghost. But my whiskers are telling us the boots went that way. Don't worry, Cosmo. We'll get your boots back. Huh? Cosmo's boots were here. Oh, oh. oh my poor pizza! Piperita, what happened? Something incredible, but you'll never believe me. Don't worry. There are strange things going on in our neighborhood. All right, I'll tell you. I was making pizza. Then suddenly a sack of flour floated up in the air and flew away by itself. To finish making the dough, I had to use the only other ingredient I had. Marshmallows! So Ugh. now my pizzas are too sticky! Oh, the flower's trail stops here. Everyone thinks there's a ghost cat. <gasps> you think a ghost cat took my flower? I don't. But we'll find your flower. Let's go, Buffy Cats! <laughs> I love marshmallow pizza. Buffy Cats! We need your help. Milky, Chuck, what happened? Our top hat ran away by itself. <laughs> we were rehearsing our new act. Ladies and gentle cats, this top hat will make your day full of flowers. Abracadabra. Oh, Milky, did you change our magic trick? I thought you did, Chuck. Don't worry, we're on the case. Hmm, thank you, Pilu. We can't do our trick without our top hat. Maybe it was the ghost. No, m'lady, don't say that word. Let's go look for that top hat. What's wrong, Cream? All my whipped cream has disappeared. Uh -oh. <gasps> 
This mystery keeps getting more mysterious. Nobody wants an ice cream cone without whipped cream. <sighs> if it's any consolation, I do. There has to be a clue around here somewhere. Oh, maybe some whipped cream footprints. <laughs> a real ghost cat can't leave footprints. Except in this case. Look, the ghost left a whipped cream trail. <laughs> Meanwhile, don't eat the clues. <laughs> if we follow the trail, we'll get to the culprit's hiding place. But how will we know if he really did it? So this ghost cat likes to wear top hats and boots. And he likes flour. And eating whipped cream. They must all have something in common. <gasps> I got it! They're all white! We need to find something white. Let's say milk. We can use it as bait to catch our culprit. Milk? Oh, I know where to find that. <laughs> oh, here, kitty kitty. Want some milk? Here you are. <laughs> Come on. Drink some good milk. Bye-bye! Come back soon! Here's the milk. Now let's join the others. My whiskers are telling us the culprit is in there. There you are, Pilu. This is for Lampo. Huh? Oh, my meatballs! What happened to my sandwich? Attention, my furry fellows. We have a mystery to solve. Mystery? What mystery? The mysterious mystery of meatballs missing sandwich. <gasps> Thank you, Detective Pilu. Please find my treasure. Huh? Mm -hmm. Aha! There's a trail. <laughs> Lampo brought our sandwiches from the kitchen. Maybe he dropped some crumbs then. <laughs> A mustard smear. It's another clue. Whoa. Whoa. These sure are delicious clues. Mipa, please stop eating the clues. But these clues are so yummy, and I'm so hungry. A cat print in mayonnaise. It's mine. I put the sandwiches up there so that Meatball wouldn't eat them all while I called everyone over. <laughs> well, I wouldn't eat all of them. The doctor said I shouldn't eat too many sardine sandwiches. Aha! Uh -huh. How did you know that they were sardine sandwiches if you didn't even taste one yet, Meatball? <gasps> yes! How did I know that? Meatball, you're our number one suspect. But Lampo just brought them in. How could Meatball eat a sandwich so fast? Huh? Hey, that was my sandwich! Mystery solved! I know where Meatball's sandwich is! Where, where is, is it? it? The missing sandwich is in your belly, Meatball! You ate it! Oh, Pilu, you're right! I forgot all about it. But I'm still hungry. You're a brilliant detective, Pilu. I've got a Buffy brainstorm. We can be your detective team and solve mysteries around the neighborhood. Come on, Buffy cats. There's got to be a mysterious mystery to solve around here somewhere. Here's one. What's happening in front of Fleur's flower shop? <laughs> it's my pleasure to show my extraordinary flowers to all of you. Hmm. These flowers are fragrant like the finest perfumes. Thank you, Snobbeen. Let me present the most fragrant flower of all. I've managed to grow an orange cornflower. <gasps> but where is it? I most definitely did not eat it. No, my cornflower has disappeared. What will I do now? It was the most beautiful flower and the most fragrant. Here's a mysterious mystery to solve. Don't 
Don't worry, Fleur. Detective Pilo and her team of Buffy Cats will investigate. I have recreated the crime scene using cookies. Huh? <laughs> Fleur is here, and this one is... Hey, what happened to the flower shop? Okay, so this is the shop. Huh? Mm. <laughs> Meatball, have you seen the cookies? Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. You ate all the cookies, isn't that right? Aww, but they're so yummy. Meatball, how can we solve the mystery if you eat the crime scene? Don't worry, milady. Floor, when was the last time you saw the orange cornflower? Um, I'll have to think about it. I was in such a hurry to get here. Try to remember any places you may have passed along the way. Mm. Oh, I remember I heard the clock strike 12 while I was walking. Good, we have a trail to follow. Come on! We gotta get to the locomotive. three nights. So, he came looking for treats in Meow City. The piece of yellow fabric was proof that Meatball had been on the train. Sorry, I'm still hungry. That also explains the sound of thunder. Thank you, Detective Pilu. You solved a mighty mysterious mystery. moving by itself. Cats, my name is Whisper, and I'm a ghost who's tired of being invisible. I tried so many ways to become visible. I tried wearing a pair of boots, but then you could only see my paws. The flower flew away immediately. I tried to use the top hat. But it was too big for me. I even ate a lot of whipped cream. But it melted right away. And it gave me the hiccups. Whisper, 
You don't have to steal. It's wrong. Yes, I know. Can you forgive me? I'm sorry, but I didn't know what else to do. Don't worry, Whisper. You're excused. <laughs> <laughs> See? It's 1 p.m. Floor, you walked by here exactly one hour ago. <gasps> Nicely done, Pilu! Elementary, my dear Fleur. The cornflower disappeared before you got to your shop. So there could be a clue around here somewhere? I think so, but we've got to find it. Awesome! I was right! Here's our first clue! <laughs> <laughs> Is it an edible glue? <laughs> Meatball, you ate our clue again! It doesn't matter. There's a trail of petals this way. Over here, another clue. Ah, what is it? Hmm, it looks like engine oil. Ugh, that doesn't sound like a very yummy clue. Buffy cats, we've got a problem. There are too many stains, too many trails to follow. There's no way to be sure which is the one. Well, at least I'm sure about how hungry I am. We're never going to find my flower. Did you just say flower? Someone with an orange flower spilled that oil and made a mess of the place. So you saw the culprit. No, his back was turned. But the culprit did come through here, and my whiskers will find out where he went. Now that's a Buffy brainstorm, Lampo. My whiskers are telling us that's the right track. Trail ends here. It brought us to the circus. We have to find another clue. Ha-ha! I found it! I found it! You found a clue? No! Something to eat! Popcorn! I'm so hungry! Oh, it's empty! What bad luck! Hey there, Buffy Cats! Sorry, but you're too late. Mm. Too late? For what? For the popcorn. We always give some to our audience for free. Audience? Was there anyone suspicious? Mm. Mm, don't think so. Sorry. I remember someone in the audience smelled a lot like flowers. <gasps> he must have had my cornflower! Ooh, ooh, I found it! I found it! Ha-ha! <laughs> Meatball, enough eating! Why? This popcorn is delicious! Oh. Look! Meepa found a trail! I love edible clues! Oh. Huh? <laughs> now what? My orange cornflower! Huh? Ah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> How come you smell so good? Um, I don't know. Come clean, Gas. Now's the time to tell the truth, Gas. Trust us, please. Oh, you're so sweet. Gas, why did you steal the cornflower from Fleur? I didn't steal it. I just found it. Huh? It happened earlier today. It was around noon. I was thinking about getting a gift for Snubbeen. When just then I found this cornflower on the ground. It smelled so good. And it was the only flower I've ever touched that didn't wither from my stink. So I thought I could give it to Snubbeen. She loves flowers. But first, I went to Wrench's scrapyard. I was looking for an extra pot I could use. Ah! Hey! 
<laughs> then, I knew my present was still missing something. I found just the thing at Milky and Chalk's show. And I had the perfect gift for Snobbeen. I just needed to bring it to her. And here I am. Snobbeen will pass by any second on her daily walk. And I'd like to give her a gift, but now I know that's impossible. I'm sorry, Fleur. I didn't know it was yours. Gas, you may be a stinky cat, but... You are definitely a good cat. So, are you saying that? Yes, you can keep it. Go on, Gas. This is your moment. Subscribe to the channel!